Civilization 3. Woo! Thanks for subscribing, you guys. I really appreciate it. Guess what we're doing today? Today we're making a DIY. And we're making a DIY for these little guys. Oh, does anybody else collect these? Because I know I do. Look how cute they are. So, we are going to make a display board because I have so many of them now that I don't know where to put them. And I thought, hey, let's make a display board so that everyone can enjoy them. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to make that today. But first, we're going to go over the things we need. Two foam boards, an exacto knife, a glue gun, glue stick, decorative tape, and I forgot to add it to the picture, but you'll also need a ruler and a pencil. Let's get started! Drawing out our back and side. First, we're going to start off by cutting the back of our display board and the sides. So this is 20 by 30, 20 by 30, and we want our back to be 20 by 20. So we have to mark off 10, and we're going to use this 10 to cut our sides, to cut our four sides. So you want to start off with a 10. along this line, 
this line, this line, and this line. We're not cutting these. These are just our guides so that when you put your shelf in, it'll be nice and straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and I'll be back in a second. So I have all of my sections cut out. shelves right here. That's where my shelves are going to go. So now we have to cut our shelves. So this is when we bring out our next board. Drawing out our shelves. So now I have my other board and with this board we're going to cut out our shelves. So we want our shelves to be the same as our sides. So that when you put it on the side, it'll it'll they'll be even. So that means that we have to measure out two and a half, and we have five shelves. Remember how we measured them out earlier? So we we're gonna measure five, two and a half. I'm gonna start it at twelve and a half because then I can measure. Two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. So now that we have everything labeled, we're ready to cut. Now that we've cut everything, you should have your back which is 20 by 20. You should have your four sides. You should have your five shelves. Gluing it all together. Okay, so we're ready to glue our pieces together. My glue gun is nice and warm and it's ready to go. And let me tell you what the easiest way to do this is. We're going to grab one of our sides, our bottom and our top. This one is gonna go on this side, so we're gonna set it aside, okay? We're going to start by gluing this side first. So I'm gonna put glue right here. And then I'm going to put it like this. I like to add, once I've added my outside glue, I like to add glue around the inside just for reinforcement. Next, we'll add our bottom. Then this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we'll end with this one, and then we'll put this one. That's the easiest way to go. Do that 
to all of them and we'll be right back. We're all done you guys. What do you think? It looks great, doesn't it? And it looks pretty easy too. I can't wait to put this up on my wall with all my little guys in there. I'll make sure to let you guys know um, how many I can fit in here and what it looks like on the wall. Also, I wanted to mention that when you put it up, make sure that you guys use nails or screws so that it'll be nice and sturdy. Thanks for coming and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you make this, make sure to tag us and follow us on Instagram at Samstown. Also, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. Thanks again, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below and you can also be part of Samstown. See you next time. Bye. Peace.